Hello there, and welcome to what's going to be episode 9 of my tutorial series for Against the Storm. So, in the last one, we have started our first Prestige 1 matchup. I have opened up one Danger Glade in the first two years. We've uh, taken down the stuff that was waiting there, and now year 3 is beginning, and there's a lot of things up ahead of us. So first of all, let's check out what the Queen has in store for us. So, well, that's both. Th th those are both not really appealing uh, choices. There, we're we're going to. I'm very very cautious with that one, but heck, why not? So one lizard for every twenty five eggs produced. So we get a couple of uh, lizards this way. Because we say we, we have a couple of stormbird nests there. I am taking this a little bit hesitant hesitantly because you know too many peoples can be an issue, but we're gonna attack on that. So newcomers, we're going to pick the newcomers with the gears because I'm personally a big big fan of those. Also, we're going to turn in the reward for the Ember Trade uh, quest. So we're now well, let's see few house short but that was foreseeable okay we have a new draft available so we could go for a plantation for a cellar or a trapper's camp so right now well i do have the small farm available and by all means it needs workers so let's start out with that as one of the first things i do into a farm if you have humans put humans because they excel at farming it's just that simple and uh, we're going to put these guys in there and then let's see holding down alt to show up these thingies there and here i see that at my woodcutters camp we can have a lot more um people working there so let's do this one lizard goes there too oopsie so there we go and uh let's see i do have one harvesters camp here up and ready well I don't think that this is too too important right now. Okay, so let's check on out what kind of order I can get here. So burn blight rot cysts. Now that's a pretty easily uh, fulfilled quest. Or we go for packs of crops, and we'd get a lot of different uh, farming upgrades there. So well, that's a that's a tough cookie for me. This here gets done basically all by itself, but it takes a while. This is effort, but it's doable in my own chosen pace. So I'm going to take this. The blueprint here has to wait because I really don't really I don't really know what to what I want to pick there, so. Alright, avoid glades except marked. We have that on both of these. Great. So we're going to uh, chop open that glade there. Because I have to explore four glades here and three glades there, so. For me, that's a pretty good reason to, to open up the small ones as well. And let's go into housing. And while I'm at it, I want to check out, is there already a good spot here anywhere to build a new hearth? Well, the answer is yes and no. It's just not cleared out yet. So we're going to move one of our woodcutters camps on over there. And uh, clear this area out. There we go. Also, I'm going to put up a new warehouse on over here. Because this is going to be the place where I'm building my second um, hearth at. Already made that, made up my mind with that. So, bricks. Make sure that you can also process the stones to make enough bricks. And uh, we got limits set on up. Perfect. So, I would love to put somebody here into the carpenter's workshop to make more effective planks, but right now that just ain't possible. Also, we have to take care that we're going to build ourselves a Blight station rather sooner than later, because Blight is coming. Anyways, it, it will take a while, so I don't, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so we have now five homeless people by now. So let's uh, do something about that housing issue. I will be not able to uh, to put those houses over to the other glade. So what do we have here? Some roots and some meat. That meat can be gathered by the trapper's camp. So we finally have 
a good excuse for uh, for rebuilding the trapper's camp. Off we go. So there we go. Houses get done, and I'm not going to open up this danger glade this season or during this drizzle because I want to be sure that I can resolve the danger event before the storm kicks in or start the danger event during the storm. Either of these is totally okay and a lot more um, preferable. So we're going to put the lizard into the crude workstation and I'm going to fire the beaver as soon as he's done with the next job and put the beaver into the carpenter's workshop. So first off, the very, very first thing at the carpenter's workshop, set a limit and uh, and be cautious about what you allow them to do. So I don't want any packs of luxury goods and I do want them to build tools. By all means, tools are really, really good for us. So new orders are happening. Let's see what we can get there. So even more glade discovery and some ancient tablets. All right, we're going to take that. And here, agriculture, farm fields and crop packs. I'll take that because we are already pretty much halfway there. We have already another um, crop quest. So yeah, sure. Let's play crop adventures. Why not? This way, all the grain being produced here is already good for something. Because when we check on out our smokehouse that we are, I don't know, we are building, I haven't built it yet. If we check out the kiln, none of these is able to process uh, flour or, or grain for us into flour. So that's okay. We can make good use of that. So old Farloff is in town. I could buy myself a plus three permanent resolve bonus for beavers. And I say you, I'm doing this. Another good thing. Um, is here the, the pigment production. Well, let's see. No. So if you have a biome where trees can drop pigments, this increases the drops of the trees by plus two as well. It's massive. But the plus three um, beaver clan support, totally down. So what we're going to do now next is something I love to do. So since my entire um, building procedure is totally slow we're just going to buy ourselves some building materials and help ourselves a little bit there because i have so freaking much timber available we can easily transform that into a trading good every colony has a different uh, capacity of trading every colony has something else you can produce in vast amounts there so it's always a nice thing to do this and another thing that I want to grab as much as possible is the copper ore. So I'm going to grab all of th this entire stack and I will now do my best to actually buy that. So I'm even willing to put in some of my tools because we're going to make so many tools out of that. It's going to be amazing. And I have a smelter around the corner so I can transform that copper ore into metal. And this is basically already... I go that far. We basically already have won this match because of that. Sounds like a mouthful, but that's because it's really that... that massive, you know? We have now... Sec. Need some lizards at the trapper's camp. Um, we have now bought material to get us to help ourselves into the production of metal in a larger scale we have now enough metal to get this going in a crazy speed and we have a workshop which produces tools so all in all we're set because with all that we just need to keep cracking open uh, them uh, them glades and do things that give us reputation it's a very solid way of winning the game. So we have another situation where there we we are out of housing. That's because we have so darned many lizards. How do we have that many lizards? Because we get whenever we have eggs, we get lizards. So surprise lizard. I don't like that uh, surprise child trait too much because I'm personally a big fan of uh, 
managing my my population carefully and all but uh it's fun as well because you have a lot of workers available to your at your disposal so we're going to turn off the we're not going to work with the smelter as of yet because it's just a little bit too early for that i want to have the blight post first because now before we get ourselves into uh into megalomaniac productions there it's it's really worth uh noting that there is uh you know there's limits to that so scavy camp is empty that's going to be a big problem now because we're uh basically totally out of uh, scavengeable materials if i remember correctly but we're gonna get there so it's storm time and uh, we want to reduce the hostility a bit so unemploy those woodcutters or actually these i want to keep i want to unemploy these guys so let's see and uh we are at a negative resolve of the lizards but uh the fun thing about lizards is they lose their resolve slower than most species so the long story short most likely they will take so long to hit zero resolve that most of the storm will already be over before they're even realizing that they're feeling bad that's one massive bonus about lizards i really love that the other thing you can do in times like these the smelter is a warm place lizards love warm places they are happier at warm places so give your lizards a warm place you get the idea all right so we got ourselves that kiln and oh boy i have forgotten to turn up the planks damn whatever so the kiln guess what also a warm place so we're, we're just going to put all the lizards into warm places and uh you see if you have friends at warm places things are great so enough of those uh, bad puns and uh let's see this place is godlike so we're going to exchange this a little bit one of the lizards goes away this provides place basically everything we want so i really like that coal we're going to limit that to 50 bricks we're going to limit that to 30 and jerky well there is no limit to jerky you know because processed food is always better than raw food period there is never a moment where raw food where, where consuming raw food would give you any benefits over the uh, well, over the other way around you know so we're going to uh, crack open that uh, danger glade here because we are pretty much out of resources our situation is quite crap you know we we look as if we are well off but uh, all in all our resource patches are picked clean quite soon and that harvesters camp needs to be manned now all right so let's clap open that thing and as you see there we get we gained a new hostility level by that bad news so we have to reduce our woodcutters by one let's revert that so we gained a harmony spirit altar event there that's a little bit crappy because we cannot uh, open up that yet uh, as of yet because all species become less resilient resolve drops faster so well ah whatever we're going to do that never nevertheless so we could now either salvage or convert that if we convert that thing we gain global resolve and that's outright amazing so we're, we're just going to take that i'm going to wait for the resolve of that event until we have the resin in our storages because resin is really the cheapest way of resolving that event everything else is a lot more costly and uh resin comes out of those trees for free so i'm down just gotta wait for those guys to have that trans to get that transported away so now as you see there they're starting to go into the negative area but at the same time it doesn't really it, it, it is not as if they this would kill them or anything and here as you see there they're fine and this it's up fine that's what i uh that's why i like them so much you know so we can get ourselves a new scavy camp over there that's a brilliant uh, spot there we get eggs and roots i like that and a new year has begun so first of all have we finally that resin no damn can you guys just bring it home it's there you know there we go 
now somebody's finally carrying it on over. I'm focusing this so much because it's, uh, for me, extremely important to start Glade events as fast as possible. Right now, it's not that dramatic, but uh, the deeper you go into the prestige levels, you see, after 8 minutes 47, this thing will explode. It still takes 4 minutes for us to resolve it, so it's better to get started as fast as possible. Okay, so let's do this. We have a new we have a new cornerstone. So brawling need fulfilled versus rich glades. Well, I'm going to pick rich glades simply because that's one thing. I know that I have something off, and the other thing is something I could have something out of at some point, but uh, technically I don't know if I'm going to make it. So we're going to pick up the caravan with more food because at this point food is good, you know. We were pretty, uh, we were pretty low on food in this colony altogether. So, let's put in the woodcutters here and see if the small hearth finally fits in somewhere. Well, if we'd be dismantling the artisan's workshop, we would be able. But I don't want to dismantle the artisan's workshop because it's just such a useful thing. Right now, we don't need it, but uh, well, I'm going to wait until our woodcutters have cut down some trees there. It's going to be a okay. We also have gained an, a ranch there, and uh, I'm, I'm posi positively uh, surprised. So, if we have a ranch, the plantation is just the next uh, logical consequence. The plantation allows you to plant out plant fibers, and plant fibers can be processed in the, at the ranch into, uh, into food, so that's amazing. Alright, turned, I turned in that quest because I felt like it's a great moment to do so. We have to clap open two more glades, so oh, that's uh, quite a uh, quite the business up ahead of us. But altogether, our colony is at a great spot, you know. We can now go for one lizard at the blight post. Limit that perching fire to ten pieces. That's way more than we actually need, but little do I care. Here at the smelter, we are now processing wood at horrendous uh, at horrendous uh, pace. So. The thing here is pretty simple though. Since I am now producing coal by myself at the kiln, I'm not that uh, I'm not that crazy anymore about uh, not using coal for um, for the hearth. All right. So now we're just waiting for that thing to be finished. It's one of the most harmless events because basically this is only dangerous during the storm when the resilience of your people is actually falling, or the result. And uh, outside of that, this is a very, very harmless thing. So, we got the scabby camp that I ordered. Let's spend that. And uh, we should definitely get rid of all those trees here, too. So, I'm missing a woodcutter. The scabby camp here is out of work, but that's... Easily fixed. We got so many de uh, deposits there, so it's going to be just fine. Sadly, I have no uh, opportunity to pick the moss broccoli there, but whatever, that's okay. I do have a trapper for the uh, slick shell brood mother, and that's already making me damn happy. Okay, so here at the carpenters, well. We have a severe shortage of housing, too. Let's see, is this finally big enough? Yeah, here we go. So, top-notch priority, because now I'm finally able to uh, bring up the housing here. I just wanted to have the housing not on the same blade as we had before. Second hearth is just a big benefit. You gain more resolve out of that. There's just many things you can do with that. Here I'm opening up that danger glade on purpose. This ain't a mistake. This is a uh, this is a decision, you know. And now we're just going to do the same thing as we did on the other glade. Just bring up some barrels. And then we're just going to move one of those shelters over there. It doesn't matter where the shelter is standing. It just does matter that there's enough population in one area. 
your people basically don't really interact with those houses. They're, I hate to say it, but they're mostly fake. So we have that decoration up and running. We now need a bit more. So sadly, I haven't found any fertile soil whatsoever. That's the biggest tragedy of the situation right now. Because we would be really, really well off if we'd find some more fertile soil, but one thing at a time. Probably one of these danger clades will uh, will provide. So, another order is coming on in. So, even more ancient tablets and need for clothing fulfilled. So, need for clothing fulfilled, it's time to rebuild that artisan then. Because that's a really easy, easily doable um, quest there. With the plantation, I will have access to plant fiber. With plant fiber, I will have access to um, to fabric, and therefore, building clothing will be not a not an issue at all. So, I should definitely allow them to make biscuits, even though we don't have any way of making flour so far, and that sucks. But we're gonna get there. So, the next thing that I want to do now are two things. I want to bring in somebody into the makeshift post. And I want to make those crop packs. I would love to make provision packs to get those trade routes going. But right now, if you check out the provisions, the only thing we could pack in would be eggs. And by all means, this is uh, like uh, the majority of my food stockpile. So hell no. Sadly, I can't do as much as I would like to. So we have uh, opened up a new glade. So we can get, take that reward here. Why not? And here's the new event, the Forgotten Temple of the Sun. That's a very, very generous one. It's merely costly with it, with the activation things. So, except for the fabric, that's all pretty costly things. But we're going to take the chest of ancient tablets. It comes with crystallized dew, and we can fulfill one quest with that. So that's going to be really, really good for us. So let's uh, use those people, get them on in there. And the best part about that is we have now even more um, harvestable things. We don't have a place to put down the plantation, but we do have a place where plant fiber is uh, growing. So I'll take that as well. So Buddy Zork is over there. Let's check out its cornerstones, but there's really nothing I desperately need. There's one thing I'm going to pick on up here, though, and that's the jerky. Simply because of one reason I have a quest running where I have to fulfill the need of jerky so I want to do so sadly I don't have too many things I could sell at this point that's not necessarily because we don't have much to sell that's mostly because Zork doesn't buy the most of the most of the stuff that I have and uh, that I can offer him so we're going to make something like that Yes, I'm selling away even more parts, but that's okay. If you don't need those parts, by all means, it's way better buying them rather than not doing so, you know. Here, meat diet, meat for meat for jerky uh, fulfilled. That's making us stronger, guys. So here, well, those decisions are all a little bit uh, difficult. I'm going to pick up the human houses here because that's going to be the easiest fulfillable things. I didn't want to go for those service buildings simply because of one reason. I have literally no clue if I will be able in this matchup to fulfill those needs or not. And if that's the case, it's really pretty much always better to choose something which gives you an immediate benefit. So here, well, it's one of those sucky situations. We are just six points above the next uh, hostility level. so. We're going to suffer here, but, um, well, there's not much we can do about that. Lowering hostility at this point is no longer possible. I can only put up more hearths. That would lower the hostility again. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, yeah, we can set up another one, so basically, probably that's going to help us. And let's wait it out for a moment. Probably that next hearth will be actually the solution to our problems. that would be that slight decrease we're requiring so our beavers resolve is darn low at this point so i'm going to start and sacrifice some wood here per second 
just to keep that situation a bit under control. I don't have much wood, so it's really not that much of a great idea, but I just want to keep that going until the next hearth is ready, because that should be resolving that issue for us. There we go. Sacrificing is for me always a uh, man a matter uh, a, a last resolve, so to say. There we go. And uh, it's also worth mentioning that this hearth already brought the hostility decrease without being active. So you don't need to uh, have the materials to let it burn there. But it certainly doesn't hurt if you do. Because now we can just set up even more decorations there. You already know the drill. And uh, then we can increase the overall resolve again. So what do we have here? Um, gain jerky for pie produce. Well, okay. I wish I would have the materials for pie, but this is another one of those sessions where just that building for flower production does not feel like coming around the corner. So biscuit diet, we have a place where we could produce biscuits at, but both of them are, are just not that uh, much of a happy thing. So uh, yeah, all right, meat diet gives me Sahilda's cookbook as well. So we have that now twice. That's quite sick, because that means we're gaining now 20 jerky for every 10 pie produced. We, sh we really need to produce pie somewhere, guys. So, that's one of those rare occurrences where your draft should be really aimed towards uh, that uh, cornerstone. Sadly here, well, it doesn't get that much better, does it? So, we're going to pick up the lizard houses, because these are just pretty amazing in our situation. Because we have a lot of lizards, it's making the lizards happier. Happier lizards are giving us victory points. You know the drill. So let's bring up some lizard housing here. We require at least two houses. And let's see. Oh yeah, we can also upgrade our neighborhoods a second time. I want to introduce that this run. Oh, and most importantly, we need to re-employ those woodcutters that's extremely important so there we go the thing here is in my my economy at this point is also very reliant on wood simply because we have so many economies now processing wood that really makes a huge uh, impact that really does have a huge impact so much that i am by now bringing up a third woodcutter's camp. Usually I don't, but in this scenario I do, out of one simple reason, we have a kiln processing wood into coal. And that's for me always the point where I'm like, okay, we can really use a third woodcutter. Also, I'm bringing up another warehouse. I'm a big fan of a new glade, a new warehouse. And as soon as you don't need the warehouse anymore because the glade's empty or anything like that, you can always remove it. So uh, you get all the the invested resource back, so there's no loss or anything. So there's nothing to worry about. So we're going to get on up the artisan here as well, because you know, holding disable all the other productions that we don't want and accept that order for clothing fulfillment. All right. So this is now definitely doable. We have all the all the things on the. On the table we require and therefore good thing to do alrighty so we definitely need more carpenters in this uh, place here as well so let's do something about that the scavengers camp can be uh, manned with that because here it's about time that we uh, stack ourselves up you know also I do realize that the lizards are at this break point so I'm going to favor them for the remainder of the year so they go and churn out reputation for us, you know, because happy lizards producing research, producing uh, reputation, what's better about that? Also, you should really keep in mind, the larger the populace of a certain species, the more resource per, um, the more reputation per minute you'll get, you know, those eight humans would crank out less um, reputation than those 17 lizards, really important to note. So, we're going to bring up woodcutters here and you guys are going to avoid glades except for the marked ones again and uh we're well we have to open up one more glade to uh, fulfill one of those quests so 
Oh, and I have that ranch up. Nice. So let's uh, tell the lizards to process. Wonderful. All right. So, well, I actually don't want to produce anything else than meat. I, I, I'm shying away now from producing eggs because the more eggs I produce, the more um, lizards I'll receive. And right now I don't want that. We're going to feed the ranch with grain, because I can. And that scabby camp is now out of business, it says. It's agreeing with that. And we're going to put up a warehouse here as well, because, you know, there's so much production on that uh, glade by now, it certainly will pay off. And uh, by that time, while well, we're talking about more lizard houses, we don't need them as of yet, but uh, we will, so... All right, so I'm dropping the ball for this episode at that point. I thank you all for watching a lot. And uh, next one, we're going to get ourselves further down the road. I personally think we have basically already won that game. And I'm going to show you in the next episode why. So drop me your comments down below. If there are any questions, feel free to ask away. Feel free to leave me a thumbs up on that video. Drop me a subscription if you haven't done so already. There's a playlist link in the description box below. If you want to check on out the earlier episodes, that's way to go. And there's also support links down there. There's Patreon, PayPal, and Buy Me a Coffee as ways and means to support this channel. And I'd be really, really happy if you'd give them a look. So, see you guys next time, and have a wonderful day.